In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to automatically upload YouTube videos with Zapier. So first of all, we're going to do is come into here and click create new Zap. Now, I would recommend doing putting your videos into Google Drive, but you can do Dropbox, wherever you want, but I'm going to do Google Drive. So you need to link up your Google Drive. Um, it will basically prompt you to sign in. Now, event. You can do new file, new folder, updated file, new file and folder. Um, basically, so if new file means if a new file is added, then that's what's going to trigger this zap to work. Alternatively, you can do new folder because I, I, I upload my new videos in folders because I put a thumbnail inside the folder. I'm going to do folder. But if you just if you just want to drag just the videos into there, you can do just um, video, just file even. So event, continue select the account continue trigger choose drive my google drive folder search this is the this is the folder that i want to be triggered so basically if a new folder is added to this folder in google drive then it will trigger this zapier to go off continue so the test if we press test boom so a new folders found it's basically gone through here and it's basically seen that there is a new folder in there, which means it would have triggered it. Continue. Now you want to go to YouTube on the next one. Make sure you've logged into your YouTube and put update, upload file, upload video. Account, make sure you've linked your account, press continue. Now for title, for title, you can just click on the video so the title of the latest video in the folder that will be the title or if you want to add a text document or you have some something in there you can do that now for description you want to set what the description is going to be um, again if you wanted to you could add something into that folder with description like a new file you figure out what you want to do and then video you want to find the video file in here. Okay, so I've, I've selected the file here. Oops, I've put it in the wrong place. I'll select the file here. Nice. And then lastly, publish at, you want to set the publish date. Um, you can also in here set the publish date on a file. You can do tags, do all of that. Now, you need to make sure all of these are filled in and after that you can press continue uh, let me just put something here and you continue this probably won't work because I haven't filled this in correctly but if you press test action um, okay let's I'm gonna publish it let's see if it worked okay nice so it works now you may need to fiddle around with this a little bit to get it to work. You know, if you've got something set up, um, then you need to fiddle around with it. Um, if you need any help with this, you can comment down below and I'll reply and give you any help for what you need. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like, subscribe and comment down below that it worked. Thank you for watching.